Xavier, and welcome back to another episode of a Minecraft how-to video. Now, it's not really much of a how-to video, because uh, I'm not going to be going step-by-step step on it. Anyways, today we are actually going to be doing a house upgrade, because I've been wanting to do one for so long. Now, in my house I have storage, I have, you know, the, ho the, the bed, and, and the armory right here, and then I have a lectern here. Um, I should probably move this to the library. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, so today basically we're just going to be taking all this, the armory, storage, the living room, the furnace, all this stuff, and I'm going to be making it a bit better. So, I'm just going to get started by taking down the roof. That way I have a visual of the whole entire house. Alright, so here's the visual of the house. So, as you can see, the first living room is a square. Well, it's a rectangle. And then the other one, I was trying to go for like an arch right here. It, was, it looks pretty good, uh, but uh, bad at the same time. <laughs> Um, so I think I'm going to move this a little bit more to a blood moon is right. Are you kidding me? Basically, I'm going to move this a little bit more to the right and that way I can make it bigger. There is going to be a bottom floor for the armory and the storage room as well as the top floor for the house, you know, for where I live. Alright, so I finished the essential shape and I think I'm gonna go with this. I wanted to make sure that the walls go in to give it kind of a depth. So that's kind of what I do here and here's the layout so far. Now here's the front part and everything is gonna be like this for now. So I'm just gonna copy the, all of this around the whole thing. Alright, so here, here is how it's looking so far. This room right here is gonna be where I store all the ore stuff as well as where I actually do the furnace and all that. In this section right here, I'm going to have two different staircases. One going to be going up and one is going to be going down. These walls might change just because of that. But in most cases, I wanted to have some windows looking out. That way I know where I'm going to be going to and yeah. Alright, so I finally finished the stairs and I put a little balcony over there on that side over there on top of the crafting station area. As well as I might just put a balcony up here. Connecting both of these sides and that's where my room is going to be in this section right here. I've made the bottom floor right here for the storage and the armory. And for the armory I was thinking I can do like a gallery sort of thing so I'll get back once I've done that. So as you can see I've done the armory and I wanted to give it a, a gallery type feel so I did everything like side by side with quartz giving it that nice gallery feel as well as um, I'm gonna add some little post pillars which will be added for other things like the dragon head, uh, skeleton heads, uh, pumpkin heads, anything armor related that I can put on myself which will be like headgear and that'll be like trophy room as well. Alright so I finally finished the gallery armory that I wanted to do and back here I actually put the storage room right here not very big but you technically don't need a big one I do have plenty of chests in here as well as a little crafting station here just in case I need to make anything on the go and very quickly. So like I said for the second floor I wanted to do a balcony in this area and the room is going to be here. This right here is going to be another balcony area which I was going to be looking at that way. That way I can have a very nice view of everything. Now for the actual house I want to bring out the blocks out by one more and give it that nice uh, texture looking uh, just make it pop alright so as you can see I've taken this part a little bit further out and then I put these nice uh, oak well there's spruce wood sap uh, stairs uh, to give it a nice uh, texture difference as well as color difference and here's the balcony and here's the second balcony right here but from the inside you can see there's a really good amount of room right here and this is the main room right here so yeah, my bed's gonna be going over here and just the balcony here so this is just gonna be like the main room area um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in it besides the bed but um, this way being on the second floor uh, mobs won't be able to get to me and it'll be much nicer and here is a nice view of the whole all the buildings that I basically built so far. So 
Now I just gotta get the roof done, and I was thinking for the roof I'd do like a just a flat roof um, with flat half flats, that way nothing can spawn on top of it. And as well as finishing up with the torches, I'm also gonna put the glass and finish some extra designs, like for example, coloring that in with like stone slabs or something. And terraforming this whole place. Alright, so I've completed the ceiling and I think it looks really nice. It gives it a nice feel to it, making it not a big building, but at the same time it does feel like a big building. I finally placed all the torches inside the house. I've fixated everything where it goes, except the sapphire, which is going to go over... Okay, that I can fix. Okay, there we go. Now I can fix this in there. So this is my furnished crafting area where I'm going to be doing all my orders and stuff. And then down here, again, we have the gallery and the armory. So I put these here and I, I like what I did here with the armor stand. That way I can put only the headset, well, not the headset, the headgear here because there are plenty of other masks I can get with the same mod that I go with this. All dragon armor will go over here and all gem armor will go over here. There is silver armor and that I will put right here and I'll change this dragon armor over here uh, and then up back here again I have the storage right here very big storage and I've organized it so guys that is actually the end of this video uh it was pretty long build for me for you guys it's gonna be actually pretty quick uh, I wanted to make it as quick as I can not too long uh, that way you guys can enjoy watching if you guys are gonna watch um, also, I was having problems with the PC when Minecraft was recording and it was a little bit laggy, so that's another reason I had to cut it short. But I really enjoyed the build and I think I can add a lot more things to it later on. Uh, but thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!